Now I'd like to introduce uh, Sally to uh, tell us a little bit about Barbara Snyder. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, this is indeed a momentous occasion for all of us. Bob and I are particularly thrilled that this special day has arrived and feel very privileged to be a part of it. We're especially excited for the students as Hawken introduces them to a higher plane of learning here at University Circle so that they can leverage their real world experience here throughout life. I can think of no one better who understands the importance of what Hawken is doing and celebrating today than our keynote speaker, Barbara Snyder, president of Case Western Reserve University. Barbara became president of, of Case three years ago. A legal scholar who began her academic career at Case in the 80s, she returned with a promise to work collaboratively with all the constituencies to help the university. Her prior history at Case as professor at the School of Law for five years has served us in the community very well. She knew what Case was all about and is all about, and she knows what Case can and will become. She has the background and the skills to lead the school forward. When Barbara left Case, she joined Ohio State University's Moritz College of Law, where she was voted College of Law Outstanding Professor Award. She held many leadership positions at Ohio State University. And prior to, to Case, she was Executive Vice President and Provost of the Ohio State University. As Provost, she took steps to raise Ohio State University's academic stature, stature and improve the quality of life for all members of that community. Her initiatives were many. It goes for nine pages. It's amazing. <laughs> but I'd like to single out just one area, and that's education where she initiated targeted investments valued at $50 million and put, them, put $50 million to support 10 innovative programs in such high impact areas as mathematical biosciences, music, media, and enterprise. You can just get a little idea of how versatile this woman is. When she arrived at Case just three years ago, she eliminated, since then, she's eliminated a multi-million dollar budget deficit three years ahead of schedule she won the hearts of faculty in spite of freezing their salaries. She set new fundraising records, and she completed the first strategic plan that Case Western Reserve University has had in 10 years. It's called forward thinking, and it calls on the university to build on existing strengths through interdisciplinary partnerships. She knows about partnerships. I find it a wonderful coincidence that three years ago, Hawken embarked on its readiness initiative and its journey to university circle. Part of the forward-thinking strategic plan is that it urges the development of a community culture that nurtures the inherent possibility of all of its members, one that is welcoming, inclusive, and committed to transparency and integrity. In that spirit, Barbara responded to my call when I asked her to come today. She understands what we're all about, and we're delighted to have Case Western Reserve as our partner. And would you please join me in giving a very warm welcome to President Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> 